Ready to Observe is a whole series of activities and demos to help you prepare your visitors for their telescope viewing experience. Do your visitors sometimes expect to see images like these in the telescope? Looking at the moon and planets may show this kind of detail, but things outside our solar system, out in the realm of the stars, nebulae, and other galaxies, are very far away, and only a little of their light is reaching us. Our eyes work very differently from a camera that would produce photos like these. In the Scope Manual PDF on the Manual and Resources CD, read the background information section for this activity. There are a couple of articles that explain how we see and why averted vision works. In this activity bag, there are a few things to help your visitors understand why their eyes won't let them see this kind of image, and a few techniques they can use to train their eyes to see as much as possible as they directly experience the universe through your telescope. In the bag, you'll find two color squares and averted vision cards. This card is used at the telescope for explaining why you don't see much color at the eyepiece and for showing your visitors what you mean when you say use averted vision to see more. Some field of view cards held at arm's length, they show about how much of the sky various telescopes can see at a time. A spoon used to explain why the image in the scope might look upside down. Some foam strips, templates for placing skewers in the foam, skewer sticks, and a pen. You'll need to supply scissors. Let's see how we put this all together. With your scissors, trim about a quarter of an inch off the sharp end of each skewer stick. Lay the template on the foam strip. Insert the skewer sticks at the marks on the template, making sure the sticks are parallel and vertical. Remove the template and do the same for the other foam strip. We'll show you how to use these later. Place one of these strips in the What Power Is Your Telescope Activity Bag? Keep the other one here. You'll need to punch the hole in the Field of View card for the Hubble. Use the pin for this. Yes, it's really that small. If you use the Field of View cards as giveaways or gifts, you might want to make stickers with your club information on them and place it on the back of the cards. From one to about 15 visitors can participate in these activities. You'll find suggested scripts and more details in the manual. Let's see how one amateur astronomer uses them to explain the lack of color detected in dim light and how to use averted vision. <laughs> 